receding memory. A receding hairline. <clears throat> Emperor Strife appeared before John T. Hub's unit in order to acknowledge his achievements. I'm sorry. John T. Hub heard him talking under his breath. This will be the end for Giridot. As soon as we find him, he must be captured and executed. John T. Hub thought to himself, what am I doing? Is this the only way I know how to live? Even now, he felt as if the general's voice would boom out at any moment. Don't expect me to go easy on you. This was the same place where he had fought the general as his final test. Try as he might, he couldn't shake the memory from his head. Giridot would surely come out onto the field personally. Oh, how was he to greet his former teacher then? You guys thought we were done talking about edging, huh? <laughs> it's been a full week. It's been a full week for you guys. It's been less than a minute for us. We're yes. still we're still on that shit. Oh, they're still talking about edging? Yup. <laughs> yup. <laughs> We're back on the edging train. Yep. Um, Sorry to leave you at the edge of your seats. Oh, that uh -huh. was nice. That was nice. So, <clears throat> in any event, Lethal Company's fun. Um, when we get John Hub and friends started, mm -hmm. Addison and John Hub and friends. Here's my pitch. Here's my pitch for when I become a, a huge media conglomerate. I'm sorry, okay? you? When you become a... When we... Oh, he doesn't know that I'm firing him. Uh, when we <laughs> become... <laughs> A huge media conglomerate. His Discord message from last week was true. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I did. What did I message you? You're fired I, about. Yeah, I, I said. I said, "Yo, you cool if we skip the, if we postpone this week?" Like, I yes. have a lot of. I'm still. I'm finishing up my college degree right now, mm -hmm. and so I. I said, "Hey, you, you cool if I, you know, do some like big college work? I've got this big paper to write." Um, which, by the way, audience, I got a 100 on, and it was 38 pages. So I'm very happy about that. It's crazy how little this generation wants to work. What are you talking about? <laughs> what is you would rather <laughs> pursue a college degree than get some hard work done on a Let's Play? I'm doing both. That's true. Can a man not double dip? No. Nope. You know what they say. Don't put your all your eggs in one basket. That's true. And you know what? I was just having a conversation about uh, different, what do you call them, idioms? Yeah. Different idioms today. And there was a couple that I was just bothered by. I don't. I don't like uh, don't count your chickens before they hatch or whatever. Don't count your... Was don't count your eggs. Or no, your don't count your chickens before they hatch. That works. I just you know because because it's kind of to say like wait wait till there's like you know everything is followed through before you start you know celebrate. I guess it's just like don't celebrate early or whatever, right? Yeah. But I think there's a celebration to be had in just receiving good news. Like if you get a new job, right, and you're like really happy about it. I that I is agree. an egg that has not hatched yet. That is not a chicken yet. But you can count that as a dub. Yeah. No, I would agree. I would also say. Mm -hmm. You know, don't wear your running spikes unless you want to race. Okay. Yeah. And what, and, what, and what would you mean to say through that? <laughs> that means don't don't be over prepared for for and get you know get in over your head. Okay. Have you ever ran like track or cross country? Um. So here's my here's my track story. I, sometimes I tell people that I ran track in high school. The real <laughs> truth is. <laughs> that Sorry, I like this story already. <laughs> is that I ran track for, um. How long did I run track for? I oh, ran track dude, they're, for. They're backdooring you. I know. I'm just, I'm just overwhelmed right now. Dude, they're gonna. They're <laughs> I going need a mental to the health. Day. Dude, they're going straight to the stronghold. You gotta go. All right. Who am I? Uh, you send Addison and send uh fucking. I, I think. Shark. I think fucking monkey is, is. No, you gotta go all the way back to the stronghold. I know. Right? I know. But I gotta defend this first because then I cut off like the future troops and everything. Okay. Fair. If you couldn't freeze time by battling, then it would be like a problem. But you, you you're, you, you know, it's fine to do. So, I gotta change her weapon, by the way. Sorry. Uh, no, you're good. Because her her iron sword, I like it, but this one drains my HP, and then this oh. one does too. So I gotta do like this guy, probably. Yeah, ambition. Yeah, or like Alan, 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 Alandite. Alandite. I don't know what all this shit means on the right. It means uh, you can't be stepped on by a big shoe, um, <laughs> and, and and there will be no worms allowed oh, near okay. you. Yeah, yeah, that sounds pretty good. All right, let's get a fluffy monkey on the battlefield. Sorry, what were we talking about? You uh, you mentioned how you gaslit everyone that you uh, yes, that you yes. ran Some, track. Sometimes I'll tell people that I ran track. The real truth is, I wanted to make the sprints team. I didn't want to do distance. I knew that going in. Okay. I tried out for sprints. There were cuts for sprints, and I was, you know, fourteen. I was a freshman in high school. So like, yeah, I got cut in favor of people that are you know way older and more physically capable than I am, and I didn't prepare at all. Okay. Like I just thought I could walk in a track and be like good because I was, I was like decently athletic. Like I, I, you know, I went for walks a lot. I would jog sometimes. Like I, I was like okay, but like no, I was not ready for the amount of 
Because I, I thought if we were doing... Wow. Yep. That was lucky. Lucky? You, dude, you're getting your ass beat professionally. Nothing, nothing lucky about it, buddy. Get nice. fucked, kid. Oh, my God. Yep. So, okay, so did you end up running it in sophomore year? No. So forward? what happened was the day that I got cut, it was during the winter season. Okay. Um, and it was... So Sprints was running indoors because it was all snowy outside and stuff. And if you were running fast as fuck, it's going to be a problem. You know, if, you, if you're, mm -hmm. you know, hauling ass and whatever. Distance was outside shoveling the track because they had to run on the track and everything during the winter while it was snowing. Oh. Um, and I said, I got cut. I got the news. And they were like, yeah, sorry, bro, you're cut. And I was like, oh, okay. Um, I go into the locker room uh, and I... I just, I look at what we'd have to do. The dude was like, okay, yeah, you can go outside and grab a shovel and blah, blah, blah. I'm like, I'm not doing that. So I just like quit. I just, I just, <laughs> just straight quit. Nice. Then in there. Um, and in my time in track, in the one week that I ran track in, in freshman year of high school, I got my graphing calculator stolen. That sucks. Yeah, no, it was, it was, uh, that's, that's, that's a, that's a, that's a scholar's whole world. Yeah, no, it is. I ran uh, track and cross country for a year. Um, okay. Distance and then so like I started in the winter and we ran in like a athletic bubble for uh, For like our our that's for our distance races <laughs> like we had a uh, what was it a relay Ooh. and uh, That bitch was hard um, like I remember like literally tasting blood in my lungs after that race Yeah, man because of how dry the air is inside of an athletic bubble um Dude, dude, nice. I can do you, it, man. I mean, you might be, you might need to send someone back to the stronghold, mm -mm, mm -mm, but. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, sorry, mm -mm. you can do it. You can do it. Thank you. Oh, this guy's level forty-six. Yep. Dude. The neutral. <laughs> Imagine lifting someone up by their fucking stomach. Dude, that shit would go crazy. Imagine doing this. Imagine getting hit with that more than anything. Oh my god, I'm doing it. Shh, that's a jinx. Nice. I'm doing it. Nice, I'm doing nice, it. nice. Ooh, whoa. <laughs> now run back to the stronghold, sit in there for a little bit, regen health. Yeah, I'm gonna regen health. And then, I think I think Michael can do it. Pop man. off. I think I'm I think I'm Michael for real. I think you are. You're her. I'm I'm literally her. They forgot I'm her. I think Fluffy Monkey's gotta step his shit up. Yeah, dude. That that little that little twirly staff, that's not doing shit. Mm -mm, mm -mm. No, it's decent. Yeah, Killick, I think he's just a little underleveled. Killick did it better. Damn. So yeah. so Addison does it better than Siegfried. We all know that. Yeah. But But Fluffy Monkey compared to Killick, these, come on. Look at these level thirty five gentlemen, man. Yeah, dude. We can't have Addison over level John T. Hub. I mean I mean <laughs> I mean I'm at, Really? I mean, I'm at, I'm at, <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's a good voice. You sound like a like a cranky old dude in like uh, The Simpsons. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Did you hear that? Uh <laughs> you hear that they, they, they're gonna stop joking, Bart. <laughs> so I'm gonna start my my solo shit probably within the next. I'd say next month. Okay. Hopefully, like so. solo solo content. Yeah. Well, just Twitch stream. Hopefully, okay. like hopefully, just get back on the horse a little bit. Okay. And um, and 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 look at and look at your character right now. He's on a horse right yeah, now. Yeah, he is on a horse. There you so go. I think Tuesdays are gonna be my my big like content day. Hopefully, because Wednesday and Thursday I spend with my partner. Mm -hmm. Monday I do this, and then Friday and Saturday I work at my other job mm -hmm. and typically spend time with my partner. So it's probably gonna be like Tuesday Sunday. But like even two days is gonna be a big step up from where we are now. Yeah, for sure. And what um, and what are the odds that we listen back to not to be like mean, I'm this happens no, to me all the time. What are the odds we listen back to this when it comes out and then you go like I didn't do any of that Incredibly shit? Incredibly likely. Okay. Because because I did the same thing for when we first started this let's play, like the first episode or two of why are you just standing still, man? You're pissing me off. I get the first her. episode or two of uh, SpongeBob, I was I was talking about like how I wanted to like put out reviews and stuff. Yeah. But then I manifested that shit. A month yeah, later, you were actually doing that. A month later, it's it's for real. You know what they say? Better late than never. You know they do say that. Do you do you think you agree with that? One thousand percent. My my partner was telling me about this one saying that like her grandpa or like uncle says where he's like, 
anything worth doing is worth doing half-assed. And honestly, that's true. That's true. That's that's real true. Like as long as it's done, you can say I did it. Yeah. And and you know what other saying I really like? Or what other idiom I'm I'm a real big Damn. fan of? It's like don't don't treat others how you'd want to be treated. Don't say anything to someone that you wouldn't want to hear yourself or whatever. You know, like that that yeah. saying. Yeah. I think uh, I think that's a good saying. I like, think the golden rule is typically a good rule. Yeah. I think yeah, that's that is the golden rule, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I don't think I'm ever like actively mean to people either. Like I don't think I can I can say that I've ever looked at someone and like insulted them to their face for the sake of malice. Yeah. Meanwhile, um, behind their back, all the t- all the time. But no, no, no. I'm kidding. That's not. I. That's you know, true. I had a problem with that. You know, I used to. I used to be a, a judgmental person. I. Th- I think there's still some some judgment that resides in me. I'm pretty judgy. But I'm, na- I'm but now I think judgy. it's a it's a tool that I can use for like this improv shit. Now instead of judging a real human being by like the way they act, because I, I don't know anything about them really. You can never truly know somebody. I can just make like blatant assumptions about like. You know, fluffy monkey over here. Yeah, and then and then it's comedy, and then it's and then and then and I'm channeling, I'm channeling my toxicity into something productive. Then we can, yeah, when we can make fun of fucking <clears throat> fluffy monkey. Exactly, bro. Like how he's not pulling his weight. Like he, how he has to, he's got to step his shit up. Can you know? we heal our stronghold? Uh, it heals over time. W- with people in there, Anoski. Just yeah, just on its own. Like it'll just. It's got regenerative properties. Oh, okay. So it's like Superman for real. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Awesome. Are you a Superman fan? I wasn't. I wasn't a Superman you were fan. Not. And then I became one after Whatever. reading All Star Superman. Okay. Shout out All Star Superman if you haven't read it. Um, it is f- fucking phenomenal. That sounds like he like plays in the NBA or something. NBA All Star Superman. It's more like a collection of tales surrounding him at the end of his life. Um, okay. How it, old does he live to be? He he actually, if I'm not mistaken, I want to say he gets like cancer or some shit. Like, he gets like it's super something. Cancer it's something like regular? very like mundane. Okay. That like he <clears throat> can't control. Okay. Or something like that. I could be wrong. I need to reread the storyline. But anyways, he's like he knows he's dying and he's making preparations for the end of of his his of you know his life. life. Yeah. And uh, and they're really awesome tales. <laughs> That are you know pretty like widespread, mm-hmm. um, and really just emphasize about the true nature behind Superman. Mm-hmm. And then I watched My Adventures with Superman, the cartoon this, this starring show, Jack gonna, Quaid. I was gonna ask what you thought of that. I loved it. That's awesome. I think there were some episodes that were definitely like not as good as others, and I mm-hmm. think the animation was spotty at times. Yep. Less so the animation, but more so like it was clear that they didn't want to dedicate a massive budget to it. Okay. Or maybe I can attribute it to the art style or whatever, mm-hmm. but uh, I loved it for what it was, and and for the majority of it, the vast majority, I loved it. It was really, really good. Okay. Um, I'm I'm very excited for season two. I hope it gets a lot more funding, and um, they you know they sort of take a step up on the animation. I know that that animated shows typically have to like walk a fine line between Mappa. And and like the abuse that goes on there, mm-hmm. um, and, and or like you know, Adventure Time, where like it's like you know fairly like I don't want to call it low budget, but like especially early Adventure Time, where it's like not that crazy, yeah, uh, animation wise. So I just want something that has like <clears throat> trying to think of an American cartoon that would fit the bill. But where are these guys coming from? I hear I hear hooves. Are those my hooves? Yeah, those got to be yours. They're my hooves. Yeah, I don't see any. Um. Funny guys. I'm hoping that they uh, they really bump it up in terms of like the combat choreography. I thought the the normal sequences were fine. Okay. But the the combat choreography I thought could have been a little bit more involved. Mm-hmm. Um, and it wasn't, but that's okay. You know. You think it'll have like a, an invincible type of thing where now that it's like a smash hit, it'll have like more of kind of a dedicated budget to it. And maybe one thousand percent, one thousand. And that's not to say that the the stuff in Invincible was like you know bad. Like it, the, I love like Invincible, even season one's like animation and stuff. Yeah. But I think I think I heard things about like you know they were crunched for time a little bit or like they were. You know, just just a situation where, you know, maybe it didn't look as good as it could have. Well, I think for season, I think season one of any show, especially in the streaming era we're in, is they don't want to dedicate money to the show. Decisive mm-hmm. battle. Decisive uh, battle. We forgot about that last chronicle. Yeah, yeah. Well, um, you know, 
So they don't they don't want to dedicate money to the show because they don't think they it's can't a risk. Yeah, they can't have a reliable audience. Mm -hmm. So like, hold on, wait a minute. We have to. He's taking the shit. So so you've come. They keep saying that. Yeah, dude. Everyone come. keeps saying so you've come, dude. It's gear dart. Wait, is that gear dart? Yeah, it's gear our dart. <laughs> is that gear our dart? <laughs> there we go. Knock his ass off. I can. He's un. Oh, uh, dude. He's no. invincible. He's untouchable, untouchable. Unda Who are you, Rihanna? <laughs> Crazy Ryan. I I realized too that there's a there's a Megan Trainer song where she does that too. She does the untouchable. It's is uh, she sampling the song? The she, previous it's, song? I mean, it's, yeah, it's it's clearly like a you know she's she's interpolating that part of the song. Yeah. Um, untouchable, untouchable. Untouchable. Dude, you're getting fucked up into next Tuesday. Well, no, I got four guys though, and I'm already, I already got like half his health down, so I'm, I'm chilling. Go, Michael. Go, Michael. Go. Okay. Go, Michael. Go, Michael. Go. Go, Michael. Go, Michael. Go, Michael. Go. Damn, you're getting, you're getting blade spawn. Now, which, uh, now which, now which, uh, early TMNT live action movie song do you like better? Do you like the, what is the band called? Crime and Punishment? What's what's that group called that does the fucking T T U R T L E Power T? -U -R -T oh, I don't like that one. You don't like that one? No, you I like I Go prefer... Ninja Go from fucking Vanilla Ice. Yeah, better? dude. Go I think Ninja I, Go Ninja I think Go. I'm a, I think I'm a T U R T L E Power. Dude, come on, it's like the one other song Vanilla Ice made. How could you not put respect on it? I don't really like any of his songs. He's made two. Yeah, he's Rest got boom. boom, 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 boom. And that's not even his song, really. Is it not? I mean, it's Ice Ice Baby. It's, uh, what's it called? No, no, sorry, Pressure. Pressure. Oh, my God. You didn't know that? No. There's like a whole lawsuit around that. Are you for real? Yeah. I was unaware. I mean, yeah, he just like shamelessly like sampled it. And then that became like a whole thing. Like, like it, there was like a whole lawsuit situation around it. That's insane. Mm -hmm. I can't believe that. Shout out Giridart. Pour yeah. one out, dude. Is he dead? Yeah, he's dead. That's a dead that's a dead montage. Yeah. Think for a moment. For whom you wield your power. For what purpose and against whom? You must learn to control that strength yourself. Otherwise. Shirk's new to the group. She doesn't know what yeah. the fuck he's talking about. Shirk's like, bro, I got paid to be yeah. here. And fuck you up. <laughs> um T U R. This is like so like touching. You will never become a true warrior. Take that back! I don't think it's an insult. Oh my, is that a dragon? Oh. Mm-hmm. Who the fuck? You know who that is? No. We That's got... Emperor Strife. Is that Emperor Strife? It really is. It really is. And he wields the soul edge. T-U-R-L-T to a power. <laughs> that's that's how the song goes, right? What is that? TMNT2? T -T that's the first one, I think. Nah, really? Yeah, and then Go Ninja Go is... Um, the second one. The second one, yeah. Oh, my bad, my bad. They each have their own rap song. I need to... Uh, Watch those movies. T U R T L E power. T U R T. John Hub knows I'm like a big Turtles fan. So. I liked the uh, I like the the Mutant Mayhem one. Loved it. That just came out. A great movie. Loved it. Guys, check out Mutant May. Check out TMNT Mutant Mayhem. T U R T. All right, let me warm power. up my speaking voice as we get into the next chronicle. See you guys next week. Is this our, that's the first outro we do ever? <laughs> We've never done an outro for these. This is like 15 episodes in. We have an actual outro. <laughs> you were like waiting. I didn't know what was going on. What the fuck was that? <laughs> just wanted to kiss him goodbye. There's no <laughs> outro about it, man. I'm just I'm just saying, you know, see you later. See you if I see you. See you if I see you. See you if I see you, you guys. <laughs>